lecture on differential equations and we basically did a lot of examples and introduced the integrating factor which we should you should have done at A level uh, I think it might have just been further maths but I, I certainly did it before right. so uh, you're given an equation which is a linear equation uh, we have y prime which is dy dx plus axy equals zero now a of x is just a function of x times in y so first of all we're going to find the integrating factor and I've called the integrating factor m of x and m of x is equal to e to the power of the integral of ax so you integrate a to a, a of x and e to the power of it and this will give you the integrating factor now we want what we do with this integrating factor is we times the whole equation by it so we've times y prime we've times a of x y and we've times zero now zero just cancel off one just showing that it you times everything now by looking at this we can tell that both of these could be zero if both of these are zero then this is true isn't it so what I've done I've got m of x y prime equals zero now what we want to do we want to finish with y on its own so we integrate this because it's a differentiation at the moment with the y prime and this will give us a c on this side as we're integrating and m of x y on this side and we rearrange it to get y equals c over m of x. Now we've got a quick example here. We have tan x dy dx plus y equals sine x squared. Now we've got to change this first because we cannot have anything in front of the dy dx. So we divide everything by tan x and we'll have dy dx plus cot x y because we're dividing by it and cot x is 1 over tan x and with the sin x squared we know that sin x over tan x is equal to cot x so we'll have sin x cos x so what we want to do here is get our integrating factor and we have cos of x as our a of x so we do e into to the integral of uh, cot x. Now if you know, cot x integrated is log sine x and e, the, e and the log cancel out so we're left with sine x. Now these are the ones you, you should really know. So I've got them here, we've got sec x integrated is log sec x plus tan x. The integration of cosec x is log cosec x minus cot x and cot x is log sin x. Now what we want to do here is we want to, we want to multiply everything by sin x. So that will give us, I don't know what I did that, uh, sin x dy dx plus cot x y, uh, cos x y, that's because cot x times uh, sin x over cot x is cos x uh, and sine squared cos x. That should be pretty straightforward. Now, one thing he said was that he noticed, if you, you can actually notice it, that this is a differentiation of uh, sine x times y using the product rule. So we've got sine x cos x and differentiation and the same. Uh, now this is equal to that, which is fine. And so what he's done, he's used separation of variables with the dx up there, so that we're integrating this, and the integration of this is a third sine x cubed. Now you can do this the long-winded way, using uh, u integral of uv, which is... Uh, v du dx minus u dv dx over v squared and that will give you the right answer 
Uh, now what we want to do is we want to move this sin x out of the way, so we get y on its own as the final answer. So y is uh, third sin x squared plus cosec x times c, and cosec x is just 1 over sine.